Hello and welcome to the OpenMX video tutorial series. In this video, we will be answering the question, what is structural equation modeling, and why would you be interested in using it for your own research? Put simply, structural equation modeling, or SEM, is a flexible tool for statistical hypothesis testing. Many other common statistical analyses can be done within the framework of structural equation modeling. This includes t-tests, ANOVA, and regression models. But, within the context of structural equation modeling, we can also do more advanced models such as latent growth curves, latent dynamical systems, and mixture distribution modeling. Structural equation modeling differs from more common statistical analyses in a few ways. Structural equation models tend to be likelihood-based, meaning that they ask how well a model fits a given set of data. Structural equation modeling can also model latent variables. These are variables which are either incredibly difficult to directly measure or are impossible to directly measure, but we do have indicators of these variables existing. Another interesting quality of structural equation modeling is the ability to turn most structural equation models into a path model or path diagram. These diagrams serve to both represent a structural equation model and to provide an easy to understand framework of a researcher's hypothesis. Let's walk through an example of when someone might be inclined to use structural equation modeling. Let's assume that a researcher believes that a person's height can predict that same person's weight. This researcher then goes out and collects height and weight data from 200 participants. This data can be modeled as a standard linear regression, which we see on the left. On the right is the equivalent SEM represented as a path model. Notice how well the path diagram on the right represents the researcher's initial hypothesis that height is influencing weight. Let's try a more complex example. Let's assume that a researcher believes that a person's political ideology is related to that person's well-being. This researcher records the responses of 200 people on six questions, three for political ideology and three for well-being. But there is a problem here as questions on a survey are not exactly political ideology or well-being. They are just questions. But we can assume that something about an individual's responses to those questions are influenced by their political ideology and well-being. In an SEM framework, we are able to use these indicator variables to reconstruct an individual's political ideology and well-being, and then make claims about these abstract concepts, assuming that we had strong enough indicators of these concepts. On the left is a set of equations which could be used to model what I was just talking about. However, on the right is the associated path model for these equations. As you can see, the path model on the right is much easier to understand and emphasizes that what we are actually interested in is not the indicator variables at the bottom, represented by squares, but in the latent variables at the top, represented by circles, which are political ideology and well-being. The purpose of these videos is to teach you structural equation modeling with OpenMX. In these videos, you will learn structural equation modeling terminology, path and matrix specification for structural equation modeling in OpenMX, you'll be able to determine if a model that you've created is a good fit for your data, you will also be able to conduct hypothesis tests on your model, and along the way we will go over possible pitfalls in general SEM practice. Thanks for watching.